Uh, unfortunately, it looks like the scope has uh, a problem with uh, channel 4. Uh, as you can see, I have nothing connected to the inputs here. And I have all four channels turned on. One, two, four, and three. And there's a sample glitch. It's not running now. I have the pass-fail system set up, and I've made a mask around the channel 4 so that when it does glitch it stops and preserves the glitch on the screen. So let's go back to run and operate the pass fail system and let's see what happens. So the scope is running now. Uh, all channels are set at 5 volts per division. There's nothing connected to the input. The channels are DC coupled so uh, let's see what happens. Oh, there it is. There was a glitch and it failed, exceeded the mask, and stopped the scope. So let's start again and operate the pass-fail system and just let it sit. And there it was again. Oh, that's a good one. And I'm not doing anything in the environment to cause this to happen. Um, I've found that it's actually much worse at 5 volts per division than it is at 2 volts per division. There's also an offset error problem, uh, particularly with AC coupled uh, of that channel. So let's go run again, operate the pass-fail system, and look, it's already glitched. Run, operate. Sometimes it'll run along quite stably for quite some time. I've had it, uh, I've had it go to over 35,000 good waveforms before it actually fails and stops at times. And then at other times, as it did in the past couple of uh, instances, it glitches fairly soon. So uh, I have no idea what's causing this. It's, it's acting very much like it's a hardware fault. And so I'm going to have to return this scope to uh, TE Equipment and see if they'll send me a replacement for it. I really like the features of the scope, particularly this pass-fail mask system, which works great to, uh, to document things like waveform glitches. Uh, the, the, really, the really odd thing about this is that when it's running glitch-free, the channel 4 is the most stable and least noisy of all four of the channels. You can see that there's a bit of the noise up there on that channel and then these two are fairly stable. Uh, but the channel 4 is quite stable. It's running along now with about half a volt of positive offset, which is fairly normal. Uh, anywhere between two tenths of a volt and half a volt in the five volts per division setting. And now it's getting ready to glitch. You can see the offset falling a little bit, noise increasing, and it'll probably glitch in a few more seconds. There, the offset has fallen now so that it's about ne it's negative, and there's there was a glitch. Okay, let's see if we can get it to do it again. Operate the pass-fail system. You'll notice, you've noticed that when I start it running again, the glitches are gone, but that's not always the case. Sometimes it glitches continuously and there's nothing that I can do in terms of buttons or settings that will make it stop. I can change the range of the glitching, of course, but up oh, there it went. Run, stop, operate. So in the space of four minutes or so, we've had several glitches. Uh, the scope, there it was again. Okay. Um, operate. I'm kind of hoping it'll enter the mode of continuous glitching uh, so that I'll be able to show that on this short video. This is all happening without any unusual machines operating in the background, nothing's going on, the other three channels are perfectly stable, but the channel 4 is, uh, is not.
And I don't know if this if this is a heat related problem or or what exactly it is. The uh, the scope is is operating uh, with plenty of ventilation area around it. I have the air conditioner running in the room. It's about 72 degrees Fahrenheit in the room. Uh, the scope has been warmed up properly. It's been running for a couple of hours as I've been documenting this feature. Ah, uh, now it's now I can see the noise is is uh, increasing and the offset is dropping the the phenomenon happens like this the noise increases and then the offset drops to below the zero level uh, and then it'll then it'll glitch And of course it does this when a signal is being displayed too um, on channel 4. I've got some still pictures of uh, what it looks like when the probes are um, all connected and hooked up to the scope calibrator. And it's, uh, it's pretty bad. Sometimes those glitches will, will uh, cover the full screen of the display. We're running along in uh, pretty much the default mode. All the channels are set to DC coupled, normal waveform acquisition, 500 microseconds per horizontal division, uh, but that doesn't matter, it can be at any horizontal rate. And just now it's in one of its uh, very very stable low noise states the offset is right at zero which is where it should be and there's almost no noise on that channel and here oh, here comes the noise here it comes the offset went negative now it's about negative half a volt so I'm expecting it to glitch at any any moment And there's the noise building up, and there's the glitch. Wow, that's a good one. You can see how it really went off the screen there. I really like this uh, mask pass fail feature. It's easy to use, and it makes it uh, really easy, especially to document failures like this. We'll go uh, uh, a couple more minutes here. This is this video is is uh, being made so that I can show the people at the vendors um, what the problem is and how to reproduce it. Since it's so intermittent, I could have the scope running for half an hour and it might not do anything. Um, Yet again, sometimes it'll start up in the glitch mode and stay glitching for some time and won't stop. So um, I would hate to return the scope and have the technicians hook it up and look at it for a few minutes and say, oh, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, there definitely is something wrong with it. And it's not software or, or calibration, I don't think, because I've calibrated the scope according to the instructions uh, several times using the self-cal routine uh, with nothing hooked up to the inputs and after it's thoroughly warmed up and all of that and uh, that has not helped. Is it going to do it again? It's now, oh, there it goes, there it goes, the noise is starting. It's starting to get noisy. And the noise sort of faded away again now. See, it's a very intermittent problem. Oh, there it goes now. The offset has dropped a bit. Dropping, dropping, dropping. Noise and glitch. Okay, I think that's it. Thanks for watching.